Hey, good evening, folks. It's Steve K. Five J U F. Hope everyone's everyone's having a good week out there. So I got a video tonight. I wanted to put together on something that I encountered with my two meter antenna when the weather was real cold, and it was something I observed. And I thought I had a bad antenna, and I may still have an antenna problem, but I wanted to share with you what I found because it was something that kind of caught me off guard, and I wasn't paying attention. And I'm going to share with you what uh, what I learned. So what I want to go over is my uh, radio configuration, the meter that I'm using, the diamond meter, uh, observations, and so forth, and kind of what a troubleshooting plan is. But I may not actually need it because, uh, but I'll, I'll get into that. So what I have on my FT991A is I have a diamond SCSX40 Charlie, which is a 2 meter and 70 centimeter cross what they call a cross needle SWR meter. What this means is essentially when you transmit there's two needles and they both come up and one of them is what's called your forward power and the other one's called your reflected power. So what I want to go over today is an observation I had last week with uh, my power actually dropping while transmitting so I kind of wanted to show you what what I experienced. This is, this is the actual SWR meter that I have, and the way it works is essentially is this section here, this shows you with no power. Now this here shows it transmitting 50 watts, and what you want to look at over here is this is what's called your forward power, and this is your reflected power, and wherever those lines cross, that is your approximate SWR. So this one here is less about 1.1. So this is typically what I had in the second part of the video. I actually show you I show you using uh, my uh, my meter. So this is another example here. This shows us transmitting 50 watts. Now one of the things I didn't mention was there are two scales. One is 0 to 300, which is the top scale. The lower scale is 0 to 30. And of course this is 50 watts and it's showing 50 watts right there. Now this one here is showing 50 watts also on the upper scale. But then if you notice here, this reflected needle is a little bit higher. So wherever those two needles cross, that's going to be your approximate SWR. And this one's about 1 1.2. So if you look here, the needle's flat. It's a little bit higher here. It's 1 1.2. And in, in the next example, the same transmit power, 50 watts. But look, now your reflected power is a little bit higher. It's coming up to about 1.5. This one here, again, the same 50 watts on the upper scale. Now we got an SWR of about 2. So that's how the needle works, essentially, is when you transmit, you get your forward power, and whatever power is coming back or SWR is coming back, that's going to be shown on this needle here. See how those work? So this is perfect. This is good. Uh, so I'm sorry, uh, going the wrong way here. This is perfect. That's that's good. A little bit. Of, that's still okay. The two is kind of a problem because anything above two, the FT991A is going to start cutting your power back, which I experienced last weekend. So one of the mistakes I was making was I was actually using the high range and I was only transmitting 5 watts. And what was happening was it was very poor resolution. So what was happening, this needle deflection that I'm talking about was, was, was hardly even noticeable in this scale. Now what happened was we did a test where we actually went to 30 watts. Now this is where things became apparent. Now keep in mind when we were doing this, the temperature was probably about 20 degrees outside, so it was really cold. This is where a problem happened here. When we went to 30 watts on one of our tests, all of a sudden we noticed, guess what? This reflected power, it started dropping back. And that is something that I had never seen before, I had observed. So it was dropping back, and the SWRs were actually pretty high. So this is the problem. This power meter was actually deflecting back. So that 
was something strange and it, it kind of bothered me. I didn't notice it at 5 watts because I should have been using the lower scale, but I was actually using the 0 to 300 scale, so the resolution was very, very poor there. But when I went up to 30 watts, this problem became more apparent. <laughs> so, some of the things leading up to this were I've always transmitted at 5 watts, but I was always using the 0 to 300 watt scale so the resolution was not very good bad bad move on my part the other thing was uh, when I was talking to dad on the local repeater I kept noticing his signal was fading in and out and I thought maybe it was a repeater problem but it looks like it was more or less a problem on on our radio and then of course I would get occasional signal reports so the summation was I got a problem when the when it's cold outside. So now this is what I also noticed um, when the SWR when I was having this problem when I was transmitting 30 watts. I also noticed on my FT991A anything above two is going to be red. Now what was happening was this meter that I show you, you can actually use this, you can press this meter button here and you can look at power or SWR and I'll go over that in the second part of the video. But what was happening was when I was transmitting, when it was cold last weekend, I was getting red over here and that was bad. And what was happening was when this SWR was above 2, the, the FT991A was actually cutting that power back and making the actual transmit power drop. So it was kind of protecting the radio in a way. So that's part of, uh, I guess, one of the features is if you have IS, high SWR, the FT991A is going to cut back the power on the final so that you don't burn them up, which is a good thing. So... What I did is today I retested everything, and today's about 70 degrees outside, and 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 believe it or not, everything was perfect. There was no there was no deflection. There was no red on the SWR portion of the test. Everything was good. So what this tells me is, in summation, is the cold weather was affecting my GP1 and causing high SWR, which was actually reducing the power. So one of the things I'm going to start doing is, going forward, my new settings are when I'm transmitting with, say, 5 watts, instead of using the 0 to 300 scale, I'm going to use the 0 to 30 scale. And what you can do is you can actually, if you press, if you, there's a button in front of the meter, and I'll show you in the video how you get to the range. So ideally, on the low scale, if you're pushing 20 watts, this is where you're going to be right here. And, of course, your reflected power will be down here. Now, if I go to, for example, if I go to 50 watts, then I'll go to zero to the 0 to 300 scale, which is on the top. So, in summation, um, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to leave the meter setting on the SWR on the FT991A so I can monitor it periodically and make sure it's not going red. And then if I'm transmitting with less than 30 watts, then I'm going to use uh, the, uh, the, the appropriate scale, which would be 0 to 30. And if I'm using greater than 30 watts, that should actually say 300 right there. So the summation is, uh, I, I just the main thing I wanted to show you is, is what was happening was I was losing power when I was transmitting. And this is last weekend when it was cold. It was about 18 degrees. So there's something going on with my GP1 when it gets cold. So what I've done is I've ordered, I've got a GP3 on order. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run another video when I install the GP3 and just kind of compare the numbers and so forth. So anyway, the main purpose of the video was just to let you know that how this, how this particular meter works, things to look for. Uh, you know, particularly with this power dropping, this th th this was a major problem here with this power dropping right here. So this was something, but the telltale sign was when I have the SWR setting on the meter, 
what it was showing red over here last weekend that's when it was actually cutting the power back so the main thing is just wanted to show this to you and uh this is like i said i'll i'll uh in the second part of the video i'll have the actual demo with the meter and the radio so again hope this helps and uh, we'll get back to you with the second part of the video thanks again for watching all right folks it's steve again we're back and this is the meter i was talking about right here what i wanted to show you if you have it pressed in, you're on the high range. If you have it pressed out, you're on the low range. And the low range is 0 to 30, and then the high range is 0 to 300. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transmit at 5 watts, and let's see what the, uh, the needle does real quick. This is KI5JUF. All right, we don't have hardly any movement at all, and that's not what I saw last week. I saw a whole lot of needle dropping so let's go back up to 30 watts and see what happens this is KI5 JUF testing Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot so we are not having any power deflections over here and that's that's what I had last weekend but today the temperature is 71 degrees versus uh, 20, 20 degrees so last week. So I suspect this may have been may be a temperature problem. I'm going to try it again. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, calling CQ and monitoring. We have no power drop at all. Continuous uh, solid 30 watts. So the antenna is not failing today and that's a good thing. It means it's probably temperature related. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the power down and I'm going to go to low range and let's go to 5 watts and see what we get. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. See how it's at 5 watts and the SWR is flat. So this meter here is not doing anything which is great. So we have a very very good setup here. This must be temperature related. So we'll go down the radio real quick and we'll take a look there and then we'll wrap it up. Alright folks, it's Steve back uh, in front of the radio here. One of the things I want to show you is uh, Talking about that meter uh, function, if the meter is not over here where you want it, you can just press the FM list and go over here and find swap. And then when it's flashing, just go locate meter from the list. And once you find it, just press it and then it'll populate down there. So that's that's how you get that down there. So what when you go through the meter settings here, uh, this is your actually this is your transmit power. And I'll transmit real quick here. We're at 50 watts. Uh, KI5 JUF testing. And also on the SWR meter, we're flat. Uh, so the other thing is, uh, I'll show you, is you can look at your voltage that's going into your radio. It's KI5 JUF testing, and we're doing right at 14 volts, and let's see how many amps we're pulling here. That's the current. It's KI5 JUF, we're clear. About 8 amps, so that's about right, 8 to 9 amps. So, anyway, uh, one of the things that's kind of strange is the SWR is below 2. Now, yes, last week it was going way above 2. It was actually in the red over here, and that's when it was cutting the power back. And what I can't explain is my SWR meter actually shows good, but when I transmit, I'm not losing power, and I'm not in the red on the SWR, so I'm not sure why those don't quite align. I'll give you a quick demonstration, KI5JUF. We're right about 1.7 on this one. But on the meter, we're showing flat lines, so I'm not sure why that is. I'll take a look into that a little bit later. But interestingly, though, if I drop the power, uh, then the SWR drops off quite a bit. Even at 5 watts, it's almost flatlined. KI5, JUF clear. We don't have any SWR movement. So anyway, a couple of things to watch. Mainly is on your needle, va needle is make sure that needle is not falling back. And on your SWR, if it gets over 2, it's going to be in the red, and it's going to immediately cut your power back. So that's kind of what I experienced. So anyway, I hope this helps, and uh, 73, and have a good day. Thanks. Thanks for watching.